The history of William Wallace is a fascinating and inspiring story of a Scottish knight and freedom fighter, who became one of the main leaders during the First War of Scottish Independence. Here are some facts about his life and achievements. William Wallace was born around 1270, probably near Paisley, Renfrew, Scotland. He was the second son of Sir Malcolm Wallace, a minor landowner and a vassal of James, 5th steward of Scotland. In 1296, King Edward I of England deposed and imprisoned the Scottish King John de Balliol and declared himself ruler of Scotland. Wallace joined the resistance movement against the English occupation and became a leader of the Scottish rebels. In May 1297, Wallace and a band of some 30 men burned Lanark and killed its English sheriff. He then joined forces with Andrew de Murray, another rebel leader, and attacked the English garrisons in central Scotland. On September 11, 1297, Wallace and Murray defeated an English army at the Battle of Stirling Bridge, using a clever tactic of waiting until half of the enemy had crossed the narrow bridge over the River Forth before attacking them. The victory was a major boost for the Scottish morale and made Wallace a national hero. Wallace was appointed Guardian of Scotland and served until his defeat at the Battle of Falkirk in July 1298, where he faced a larger and better equipped English army led by Edward I himself. Wallace escaped from the battlefield but resigned his guardianship shortly after. Wallace continued to fight as a guerrilla leader until he was captured in Rob Royston, near Glasgow, in August 1305 by Sir John de Menteith, a Scottish nobleman loyal to Edward I. He was taken to London, where he was tried for treason and crimes against English civilians. He refused to acknowledge Edward's authority over Scotland and declared himself loyal to John de Balliol as the rightful king. On August 23, 1305, Wallace was executed by being hanged, drawn and quartered at Smithfield. His head was displayed on London Bridge and his limbs were sent to Newcastle, Berwick, Stirling, and Perth as a warning to other rebels. Wallace's legacy lives on as one of Scotland's greatest national heroes and the chief inspiration for Scottish resistance to the English rule. He is commemorated by monuments, statues, songs, poems, books, and films. He is the protagonist of Blind Harry's 15th century epic poem The Wallace and the subject of the Academy Award-winning film Braveheart.